What's up boot campers? In today's presentation, I want to talk to you about the importance of applying early and sort of explain how the whole process works out. Let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is a couple of important dates that you should mark down on your calendar. The first being June 5th, which is the official start to the application cycle. This is the first day you can fully submit your application to dental school programs. The next day is December 1st. Now this is the first day that dental schools can offer you an acceptance. Next thing is rolling admissions. So dental schools follow what's called the rolling admissions process. So essentially applications go under review in order of submission. This leads to interview invites. And remember seats get filled. Dental schools only have a certain amount of interview offers that they can extend and a certain amount of acceptance offers that they can extend. And so as the timeline continues, you sort of have less open seats in both interviews and acceptances. Also, keep in mind the verification process. The DAT takes two to four weeks to get verified, and the transcript takes four to six weeks to get verified. And so your application isn't complete until everything gets verified. Also, don't forget secondary applications and secondary application fees. Just because your primary application, everything is good on that end, uh, the secondary application fee and secondary application also have to be submitted in order for your application to really be considered uh, complete and uh, finished. And so I've constructed a graph here to sort of help us understand what the timelines are uh, in regards to uh, submission dates. So on the y-axis, we have the number of applications submitted. And on the x-axis, we have the timeline. So June 5th is the opening date uh, for you to submit your application. And from roughly from June 5th to around August 1st is, an, is what I would consider an early submission. From August 1st to September 1st is an average submission. And from September 1st onward is what I would say is a late submission. And you really want to avoid trying to submit your application uh, after September 1st. Uh, your chances are going to be a, a lot lower. And so I'll demonstrate that on the next slide. So here's a graph that sort of gives you an idea of what the timeline looks like uh, versus uh, a chance to get an interview invite versus the timeline. And so as you can see, if you take the exact same application and you would submit it to roughly around June 5th compared to, say, somewhere in October, your chances are a lot greater of receiving an interview invite, of securing an acceptance offer if you were to submit it earlier. And so that's something that you want to keep in mind. So again, some rough guidelines I can give you. If you're submitting any time in June or July, that's considered an early submission. August to September is sort of the average submission time. At September or later is what I would say is a late submission. And you really want to avoid that. However, keep in mind that a good complete application submitted later on in the cycle is better than an incomplete or a poorly submitted application early. Okay, so our main goal is essentially to submit the best possible application as close to June 5th as possible. And so that's something that you sort of have to decide. If, for example, you're planning to take your DAT and you feel that you need a couple extra weeks uh, to, in order to really increase your score, then go ahead and do that because just because you're submitting it a little bit earlier. If you're going to get a worse score, that's not going to look so good. If you can get a higher score just from two weeks, that's not going to play a big difference in, in your outcome. So it's up to you to sort of find that balance of when you want to submit your application. So thank you from everyone at DAT Bootcamp for listening to this presentation. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube. We have a ton of great content on each of the platforms for you guys to sort of ensure that you have the maximum success this application cycle. Have a good one.